Welcome back to No Recipes, where we elevate everyday meals using tried and true techniques. I'm Mark Matsumoto, and today we're going to be making Hungarian chicken paprikash. As the weather cools down, it's one of my favorite stews made with whole cuts of chicken cooked in onions, peppers, and of course, paprika. All right, let's get started. Our ingredients today are chicken thighs and drumsticks, minced onions, chopped Anaheim or banana peppers, black pepper, salt, chicken stock, olive oil, paprika, sour cream, and flour. First, we're gonna sprinkle both sides of the chicken with a teaspoon of salt. Then we're just gonna crack some fresh ground pepper on both sides of the chicken as well. Now we've got a heavy bottom pot that we're gonna place over medium heat until it's hot. Add some olive oil and let it spread out. When the oil is shimmering, add the chicken in a single layer, skin side down. You wanna make sure you don't overcrowd the pot, so you're probably gonna to wanna to break this up into two or three batches. Okay, let's fast forward a bit. Once the chicken is browned on one side, flip it over. It looks like the pot wasn't quite hot enough when I added the chicken, so it's a bit stuck, but thankfully my trusty spatula saved the day. When the chicken is browned on the other side, transfer it to a bowl and start browning the next batch. Now we've got some nice caramelized chicken juices on the bottom of the pot that's going to give our paprikash some great flavor. Let's go ahead and add the onions and the peppers. Then we want to give this a stir and cover it with a lid. Turn down the heat and let the onions steam for about 5 minutes. Okay, our onions should be steamed now, so we're gonna go ahead and remove the lid, turn up the heat, and saute them until they're nice and brown. Once the onions have started to caramelize, we're gonna add the paprika and stir it around for about 10 seconds to bring out its fragrance. Paprika burns easily and it'll get bitter, so don't overdo this. Now, we just add the chicken stock and return the brown chicken to the pot. Cover this with a lid, turn down the heat, and let the chicken simmer until the meat is fall off the bone tender, about 40 to 50 minutes. While you wait for the chicken, stir the flour into the sour cream to make a smooth paste. This mixture is going to add body, richness, and a balancing tang to the sauce at the end. This is also a good time to make a batch of nokitli to go with the paprikash. Click the link above for the recipe. Okay, the timer went off, and the chicken is looking great! Now, we just have to thicken the sauce, but you don't want to add the sour cream mixture directly to the hot liquid, as this will make it curdle. Instead, you want to temper the sour cream by adding sauce to it a little bit at a time. The goal here is to slowly bring the temperature of the sour cream up, so it doesn't freak out when you add it to the hot sauce. Once the mixture is warm to the touch and free of any lumps, pour it into the pot and quickly stir it around to incorporate it. Let this thicken over low heat, and whatever you do, make sure you don't let the sauce boil or it'll separate. At this point, give it a taste and adjust the salt and seasonings if needed. I don't know about you, but I'm ready to eat. Just look at that plate of delicious comfort food. The chicken is tender and flavorful, and the sauce maintains a mouth-watering balance between the sweet paprika 
and the tart richness of the sour cream. Although Hungarian cuisine isn't nearly as famous as French or Italian, paprika chicken has become a worldwide staple of comfort food. One bite of this and I think you'll understand why. Whether you decide to serve this with traditional nokedli or some egg noodles, the real star of this dish is the sauce, so be sure to have something to pour it on. That's it for this time, but check out the link in the description for the full recipe and be sure to give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss my next delicious video. Also, if you want to see more videos like this, drop me a comment and let me know what you want to see me make next. I'm off to have a big bowl of this for lunch, but give this a try and I'll see you in the next one.